Hello. This is the Afunta, I think. Seven inch TFT color LCD car rear view monitor. I didn't buy this for my car. I bought this for my camera rig. So I'm hoping it's gonna work for that. I'm gonna have to get a battery and wire it to this source. If that is possible, I hope so. And uh, so it'll be connected to my rig for my camera for easier viewing and focusing for the handheld rig. So let's, uh, let's unbox it and have a look. Okay, so that's the rig right there as it's coming along. Got a setup for the shoulder at the moment. So here's the box from the, the monitor. Maybe a bit bright, let's turn that down. Lovely, neat packaging. Great stuff. Let's crack it open. Okay, so obviously this is designed to use in cars, with cars in mind. So it comes with a little frame around it, a uh, pillow. So it goes into the headrest of the, the you know, there's the front seats there. Obviously I won't be needing that. And um, what we got here... I want it something that doesn't have, um, not so necessarily doesn't have HDMI, but I want it something that has the normal AV video cables because just because of the design of my camera it is HD, but to get to the HD plug, you've got to open the, the monitor. I didn't. I want to get away with being able to shoot without the monitor open, so that it you know preserves energy a little bit and just view through an external monitor so okay let's have a look at what we got here right okay I think this is like a bag or something is it a bag design softly does it okay okay well, that's not a bad looking thing that is it all black plastic exterior some menus there, V1, V2, I presume they're different inputs. I don't know if that's a refresh button in the middle, I don't know what that is. Looks like a refresh symbol. We've got a menu and we've got a plus and minus. Which I presume is either brightness or volume or both. And we've got a power button and a remote control sensor. On the side, there's nothing easy. This is just the, the frame for mounting into your car seat, so let's take that off. Okay, the frame is off. Right there, and um, the screen itself is here. It's a nice looking little thing. Uh, on the back, there's nothing but two small speakers, or at least they got speaker holes. I don't know if there's speakers in there. And we've got a sliding kind of um, mount system there. Nothing on the side, these are little indents there from clipping into the big surround. At the bottom, we have a look what looks like a quarter inch screw. Doesn't look very sturdy, if I'm honest. It's not very deep. You can see. Look at that. I hope this thing works. Otherwise it's no use to me. So we have one lead and that is all coming in and out of this thing. It comes to the end and we've got a plug on the end there. So in the box we should have what goes on to the end of that. Let's have a look. Right. So right here that will plug into the end of that lead over there and it all works off the one lead we've got all these leads coming out we've got video in and out or rather just in perhaps we've got two yellows there which I presume is video and perhaps audio and we've got power a red one here which is a power lead so normally you would plug that into your wire that up to your car ignition and we have a black which I think is power as well and the blue is for triggering the auto on off for the reverse camera which I will not be needing so I'm going to need to plug this red and black into a external power source a battery pack in order for it to work which I can't do today because I haven't got one yet <laughs> let's have a look at this mount have the mount okay so the mount base at the bottom here this is a this is metal thin bit at the bottom um, everything else is plastic there's no rubber grip at the top it's all plastic hard plastic got the adjuster there for the rotation of it there and you got screw underneath which is the quarter inch screw to go underneath 
at the bottom of the the, the monitor itself if you want to mount this to I don't know dashboard I guess. In here you have the remote control. Nice and basic power button, video select, you select your inputs, you've got a menu, you've got a left and right button, and a mode select. Nice and thin and small and light. And we have lastly a sticky pad, so you can stick this to your dash, stick that to your dash rather. And that's our lot. Bit of cardboard. Um, okay, so I mounted it on top of the rig, and it looks quite smart looks more expensive than what it is to be fair but uh, we have to see what the screen quality is like when it's switched on like I said I haven't got a battery right now so I can't switch it on compress it as much as I want it ain't coming on but uh, it looks good so I screwed it on the top here if you've seen my video for these handles you will have seen these are off those handles those ball joints and it seems Nice and firm. I didn't trust these, but one of them actually broke. I've got three left. Uh, one broke with the weight of this rig, but not the weight of the whole rig, but um, anyway, it broke. <laughs> so but I wasn't sure whether to trust it. I think I would trust it with this because this is nice and light, so it's fine holding that. And uh, if it did break off and fall, then I mean, it is wired in as well, so it's not going to fall far. And to be honest, for the price, it's not a big deal if it did get smashed. It's not as if it's a two and three hundred pound monitor, so I don't mind that. So it's looking good. It's coming along, but I need to get a battery pack, which I will be mounting on on there, which will run it. So uh, I'll update this video. I won't post this video yet. I will wait until I get it all sorted. Okay, so I've connected it to the rig and it's switched on. I've got it powered by an external battery right there. Uh, for this type of monitoring here of the settings, it is fine. You can see what you need to see and nothing more. But this isn't why I bought it. I bought it to monitor the video signal here, which you can see just about. Um, I don't know how well this is showing up on film, but it's not actually very good for this. I mean, for a reverse camera on a car, which is what it's for, at the end of the day, it'll be fine. You know, it's not the best quality, but, uh, you know, it works for for seeing, it. you know, obstacles behind you. You'll definitely be able to see if you're about to run your dog over or something, or hit a wall, but otherwise... For this purpose, I would not recommend it because what I find in by you know, carrying the camera around, looking at the screen, you have to kind of look at it as the right angle to see uh, pretty much anything, and um, you can't really tell if it's in focus because the picture isn't that clear. It's not, you know, HD. Um, so I don't recommend it for a camera rig if that's what you're planning to use it for. But uh, otherwise, it works okay. You've got the menu here. You can adjust the brightness. You use the plus and minuses for the brightness there. Press it again, you've got the contrast, color, zoom. You have the four by three or the 16 by nine. Um, RD down, I'm not sure what that is. Ooh, oh, okay, yes, it's the screen rotation. So you can rotate it all different ways. And you've got language and reset. And back to the beginning. Uh, this button here is again, it's a mirror button, so you can mirror it, rotate the screen around just with one press of a button, or a couple of presses of a button, and you've got the V1, V2, which is uh, inputs. I've only got, obviously, one input connected up. So that's it, it's nice and simple, it does what it does. Um, again, for reversing cameras, I think it's fine. The one I got in my car is built into the car, and it's, it is slightly better than this, but not, not by a great deal. Um, but as a computer, as a camera rig monitor, I would not recommend it unless you're really on a budget, you know. I suppose you could get by with it for really, you know, homemade low budget films, I guess. But you, I wouldn't use this to make anything that you're going to show anybody <laughs> just because it's hard to focus with it. You can't quite tell if it's in focus um, all the time. Depends on what you're actually shooting, I guess and 
very reflective as well so we're using it outside you know it's hard to see but that's the case that's the same thing with all monitors you'd have to get a uh, sun visor on it but uh, yeah for what it is and for what it is meant to be used for I'd say it is fine for that job but I just wanted to say show you this and say for filmmakers try and get something else so that's that anyway chop